Hi, my name is Kevin Hartley. Um, come watch me on the Renegade Network. Hammer down. How did I start off in racing? I started off racing when I was a little kid. I was um, around racing all my life, pretty much. Um, oh, while my dad was working on race cars with our friends, I was um, outside playing in the dirt, around the race cars, go to races every weekend to watch them race. And I've always wanted to start racing ever since then. The classes I usually uh, was involved in when I first started going racing, um, um, Butcher Block, he used to race Super Streets, and he went to Limiteds, I used to cheer for him when I was in the grandstands as a kid. What I love about racing is just watching everybody race close, side-by-side -side racing, um, battling for the leads, watching how fun the kids are excited about everybody out there racing, cheering for their, their favorite drivers, and it's all, pretty much right now it's all about the kids, how, how they like watching the races. I started my racing career in um, a Sport 4. And what was that car? It was a 90 Acura Integra. How, how did you do? Uh, my first year, how I did it, my first year was I, um, I got 10th place in points out of, it was like 20 something cars, so I thought that was a, a win for me. Just going out there and getting a seat experience, racing with other competitors. My experience when you first go on the racetrack would be, um, you get nerves of course, everybody's got the nerves. Um, is just watching all the fans wave when you go through, um, just trying to get focused, try to keep your mind focused on what's in front of you, what you need to do when the race starts. What's it like for you that first time? What was it that got you, I don't know, the adrenaline level on high? Was it just getting out on the track or was it when the cars pulled up side by side and you kind of get that echo off the other si car? What part just got you real fired up? Um, being lined up, being side by side, waiting for that green flag just gets you fired up. You're ready to go, and you know everybody else is ready to go. So it's just that adrenaline rush just to actually put the pedal down and go. So what happened when your first time that green flag dropped and you gave it gas? Where did you start in the field, and what, what, what happened? Uh, when I first started, it was... I was laps down, a couple laps, I think. Um, just, just going to see experiences, fun. Um, I know I wasn't very really competitive at the beginning because it's just seat time you got to get and um, just going out there and getting as much laps as you can. Just educate yourself with the rest of the field. You talk about seat time. As far as the adrenaline level in your body and the heart pumping and that feeling you get of excitement, is there any difference between that time you went out there, your first time, and may not have done overly that well compared to the best race you've ever had in your life? Is there any difference, or is it that same feeling? That same feeling. Um, the difference would be is if it, it's still the same feeling, just maybe a little bit more experienced. But um, other than that, it's got the same feeling. I get the same feeling from day one until now when I first go out. Explain that feeling. What is it? Um, go out there and um, just the nerves when you first go there. Um, I have nerves until, until the green flag flies. And then all my nerves go because you're more focused on everything. I have that every time. And a good friend of mine told me, he says, soon as you don't have that feeling anymore, it's time to, time to give, give it up. What was uh, one of your wildest moments in a race car? Probably um, wild moments. Um, probably back in 2020, racing the Cage Runners for the first first time. There was some great people racing with a bunch of great people in that class. That's probably my most fun I've had racing. What uh, is your favorite race track? To, have, have you raced multiple tracks? I raced. I raced three tracks. I raced Speedway 95. That's my 
when I go to all the time because it's only like 10 minutes from my house. Um, I raced with Unity. I raced down there a few times. And I raced once back in 2020 in Wiscasset. And what was your favorite experience? Which track? They all, I like them all. They both have, all three of them have their their perks. You know what I mean? Different, different lengths I like on each track. Um, I like, I don't know what it was, but I felt more comfortable down Unity. I always liked that back, that back lip on the back stretch. It's just made my car handle into the corner so much better than using that back lip than not using the back lip. How did you uh, feel when you made your way around the fastest track in Maine, the center of speed was cast at the speedway? How was it? there i know that track at, I, i'm not sure when you you said in 2020 you raced there yes 2020 so that was when it was nice and smooth yeah um i got down there um got one practice in and still didn't get um still didn't get uh, much experience on the track because it was only for a few laps um the heat race the, i'll just say the concrete wall is very intimidating at first and I think about maybe halfway, maybe three quarters of the way of the feature, I finally got comfortable with it. So as soon as that was, I was pretty much done anyways, because track was already ahead. Of, the field was already ahead of me. Have you ever raced enduro racing? Yeah, I raced enduros at Speedway, and I raced um, enduros down the Unity back in the day, back around 2016. What's your opinion on it? I mean, actually, it's 2014. Sorry. Was it a uh, hundred lap enduro? Um, I think it was two. I think it was back when Nikoff ran Unity. Um, there was a there was a twin enduro race down there. I know one of them I got top five. The other one I can't remember where I finished in that one. So you prefer any certain style of racing? You you've raced Cage Runner, Enduro, Sport Four. Which which style of racing? Did you enjoy most, or is I enjoy it all kinds. I just enjoy being out there, racing with people. Um, I raced road runners. I raced cage runners. I raced modified enduros. I raced sport four, and I raced um, once in the outlaw sportsman class. If you're gonna look at a young kid, or even an adult, it doesn't really matter the age that is looking to start off in racing. What advice could you give somebody just starting off in racing? Don't just don't get discouraged. Um, have them go out there. Just don't have them get discouraged. Just keep having them get lap time. As soon as they'll get better and better, the more laps they do. Which which is a uh, class that you would recommend for a newcomer to try? It all depends on the age. Like if it was, um, I think it's like ten to fifteen. I'd recommend the Stars of Tomorrow. Then. If it was an older people, I'd modify maybe Enduros. It all depends on their preference if they want a cage or if they don't want a cage, if they just want the metal pipes down the side of the door. How do you feel on the safety issues? Do you feel like the Enduro class or maybe a Roadrunner class where you just have your regular seat and a belt is, is adequate? Or do you think that, you know, anytime you go out on the track, you should have at least a race seat maybe and race belts and at least some bars or if you're going slow enough it doesn't matter what's your opinion um i know at speedway and the road runners they have to have a five point harness um they do have regular seats i think they should have racing seats just so that they're more into it maybe put a bar in there like a little bar around the back of the seat so that way they can hook the seat in so it'll be a little more secure for them than just a regular stock seat and I race the Roadrunners. The bars aren't that bad on the side of the door. They're kind of, they protect you most of the time. Well, this is going to end this segment of the, the show. Can you give the fans a, a hammer down and will take us out to commercial? Hammer down. Thank you for watching the Renegade Network. Please click on the like and subscribe button and join the Renegade Racing Experience. Thank you.